A Hat for Mrs. Goldman, a story about knitting and love by Michelle Edwards, illustrated by G. Brian Carey. When Sophia was a tiny baby, Mrs. Goldman next door knitted her a tiny baby hat to keep her warm. Now Sophia is big and she makes the pom-poms for Mrs. Goldman's hats. The hats for the tiniest babies. Hats for small, medium, and large friends and neighbors. Mrs. Goldman taught her how. Keeping Kepi's warm is our mitzvah, says Mrs. Goldman, kissing the top of Sophia's head. This is your Kepi, and a mitzvah is a good deed. Sophia and Mrs. Goldman bundle up to walk Mrs. Goldman's dog, Fifi. Winter is almost here. Fifi wears her dinosaur sweater. Sophia wears her fuzzy kitten hat and matching mittens. Mrs. Goldman made them all. An icy wind blows Mrs. Goldman's hair left and right. It turns her ears pink. Where's your hat? asked Sophia. I gave it to Mrs. Chen, she explains. Mrs. Goldman's kepi must be cold, worries Sophia. At home, Sophia thinks and worries again, worries and thinks. Mrs. Goldman needs a hat. Who will knit one for her? Not Mrs. Goldman. She's too busy knitting for everyone else. Last year, Mrs. Goldman taught Sophia how to knit. I only like making pom-poms, decided Sophia after a few days. Knitting is hard and it takes too long. Now Sophia digs out the knitting bag Mrs. Goldman gave her and the hat they started. The stitches are straight and even. The soft wool smells like Mrs. Goldman's chicken soup. Sophia holds the needles and tries to remember what to do. She drops one stitch. She drops another. Still, Sophia knits on. She wants to make Mrs. Goldman the most special hat in the world. The next day when Sophia and Mrs. Goldman walk Fifi, tiny fluffs of snow fall on Mrs. Goldman's head. Her ears are bright red. Mrs. Goldman's kepi must be very cold, frets Sophia. Sophia knits after breakfast. She knits after lunch. She knits after dinner. She even knits while Mama reads her a bedtime story. But Sophia doesn't knit when she is at Mrs. Goldman's house. The hat is a surprise. All week there's frost on the windows. One day when they are walking Fifi, Mrs. Goldman wraps Mr. Goldman's scarf around her head like she's a mummy. A fierce wind unwraps it and flings it up high. Sophia jumps and grabs the end of the scarf. Fifi nips at the other end. Mrs. Goldman's kepi must be freezing, shivers Sophia. Sophia knits and knits and knits, faster and faster and faster, stitch by stitch, row by row. Then Sophia sews. At last, Mrs. Goldman's hat is done. Sort of. The hat is lumpy and bumpy. There are holes where there shouldn't be holes. It looks like a monster hat, thinks Sophia. Sophia turns the hat over and around, inside out. Mrs. Goldman's hat should not be a monster hat. That will scare Fifi. Sophia opens the box of hats Mrs. Goldman made her. Each one is special, but they are all too small for Sophia now and way too small for Mrs. Goldman. Sophia looks in the hall closet. There are hats Mrs. Goldman made for Mama and Papa. She can't give her their hats. There is a scratchy old hat Sophia's abuela wore back in Mexico, worse than Mr. Goldman's scarf. Sophia thinks about Mrs. Goldman and the hats they make together. Your pom-poms add beauty, Mrs. Goldman always tells her, and that's a mitzvah too. Sophia feels her heart grow bigger and lighter like a balloon. She searches her room for red yarn. Red is Mrs. Goldman's favorite color. She gathers her scissors, her sewing needle, and her stack of index cards. Sophia gets busy very busy. When Sophia is done, Mrs. Goldman's hat is the most special hat in the world.
Sophia rushes next door. Surprise! For me? asks Mrs. Goldman. For you, answers Sophia. It's a hat, she says. Of course it is, exclaims Mrs. Goldman, and she hugs Sophia, and then she cries. What's wrong? asks Sophia. Don't you like it? I more than like it. I love it, declares Mrs. Goldman. Gorgeous, like Mr. Goldman's rose bushes. And you know how I love his roses. Mrs. Goldman kisses Sophia on top of her kepi. I made it all by myself, Sophia tells her. Amazing. And will you look at all those pom-poms? One, two, three, four, counts Mrs. Goldman. Sophia joins in. There are 20 pom-poms on Mrs. Goldman's hat, each one made with love. She gently puts her hat on. The next day, Sophia and Mrs. Goldman walk Fifi. Fifi wears her dinosaur sweater. Sophia wears her fuzzy kitten hat and matching mittens. Mrs. Goldman wears her Sophia hat. Her cappy is toasty warm, and that's a mitzvah. I hope you enjoyed A Hat for Mrs. Goldman.